we're on hello friends welcome back to another episode here on the channel i hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel my name is lee also known as osiris in today's episode we are going to be covering all of the news dropped and very very recently in regards to series 10 the new ranked ladder rule set that will be starting on august the 1st so let's get into today's episode let's talk about obviously we are currently in series 9 we know the rules for that if you don't the link in the description will show you all about that it's a current rule set on the ranked ladder but getting into this video obviously last night or early this morning i don't remember which one we had a tweet from uh Cerebi, and i'm sure there was a tweet from play pokemon i'm pretty sure there would have been um in regards to the new series uh which is series 10 and the rule update which we've been kind of hanging on to for a little while now so here is a tweet 11 hours ago so it wasn't too long ago uh pokemon sword and shield ranked battles uh, series 10 has been announced uh, it allows one legendary pokemon per team but does not allow dynamax now that is a pretty big rule change uh, now if we head over to cerebi you can see all of the details for series 10 and all these links will be linked down in the description below if you want to take a closer look at them yourselves uh, you can see it will be season 21 uh, but it will be series 10 the rule set uh, the series uh, run for three months the seasons run for a month if that makes sense so this rule set will last for the next three months uh, starting August the 1st that's when you can see this rule set in comes into play August the 1st at 4 a.m UTC um, so that's when everything will change over on the ranked ladder you can see the the singles rule set and the doubles rule set are being updated we're talking more about the doubles here today because we are more centered around VGC here on the channel uh, but both the rule sets are exactly the same so uh pokemon restrictions you're going to have uh, available national decks pokemon uh, if they have the galar mark or the battle ready mark which you can get from winden so you, it's kind of stuff we already know uh pokemon limits a team of four to six pokemon from level one to 100 and then all pokemon will be capped down to level 50 when you get into battle so uh, you can't you don't need to worry about leveling or anything like that um in particular um, uh, now, the restricted Pokemon, one of the following per team, you are going to be able to have one of these restricted Pokemon per team. So it's going to be very similar to Series 8 in that respect. Uh, these Pokemon, as we know, if you don't, they are Mewtwo, Lugia, ho or -Oh, Kyogre, Groudon, Rayquaza, Dialga, Palkia, Giratina, Reshiram, Zekrom, Curum, Xerneas, Eveltal, Zygode, Cosmo, Co Cosmom, Sogaleo, Lunala, Necrozma, Zacian, Zamazenta, Eternatus, Calyrex, and Calyrex Forms. So... I'm um, pleased I don't have to do that again. They are the Pokemon. They're the restrictors that you're going to have access to. Uh, one of those per team. And then the only other restriction that we've got in this new series is going to be Dynamax. The Dynamax mechanic is not allowed. Uh, battle time, 20 minutes. Uh, your time, 7 minutes. Team preview, 90. And your turn, 45 seconds uh the 10th ranked battle series uh focuses on pokemon of the gala pokedex isle of armor and crown tundra pokedex and any other pokemon obtained in the game it allows you to utilize restricted legendary pokemon once in your team it goes beyond what other rule sets did and banned dynamax that includes gigantamax of course uh so this is the list that we've just been through the restricted pokemon that you're going to have so it's all the box art legendaries um from the previous generations and in including this one um and then these are the banned pokemon obviously the only pokemon that are banned are going to be the the, the mythical pokemon mew celebi uh zarud zero aura melmetal the the typical mythicals that we're never allowed to use unfortunately which i wish we were at some point but never mind i don't think it'll ever happen um and then banned gigantamax pokemon so obviously being gigantamax pokemon the dynamax mechanic banned uh gigantamax ability banned as well that makes a lot of sense so all the, the gigantamax pokemon are banned um now this is venusaur charizard blastoise you know the list of all the pokemon that have the capability to have that gigantamax ability um they are all banned but it does not mean that you can't use something like regular Venusaur, regular Charizard, regular Blastoise. Now the rules are a bit iffy on whether or not they've got the Gigantamax symbol, if that will make them ineligible to be played on the ranked ladder, or whether or not that will just be kind of overlooked and you'll just not have the ability to press the Gigantamax or Dynamax button. So you're still gonna be able to use things like Venusaur, things like Charizard, things like Blastoise, Butterfree, Pikachu if you want, 
um, and all the other Gigantamax Pokemon. You just won't have the ability to use them in their Gigantamax forms, if that makes sense. Um, so that is a basic overview of the rules. Now, what do I think about the rules? Now, <laughs> I'm happy with the rule set being changed. Um, and I think banning Dynamax Pokemon is probably a good step forward. It's a nice change, right? Um, it, it's a change from a ban list. Um, and it's kind of a big kind of shout out from TPCI, Pokemon Company, to all the people in the community, the players that have been shouting for Dynamax to be taken away for a long time because for one reason or another, they don't like it. And, you know, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, whether they like it or not. There are a lot of players that do like the mechanic. There are a lot of players that don't like it, but there's a big call for it to be taken away uh, because of various reasons. And now it has been. Now, I think, great. I want a format where I don't have to play Dynamax. I think it will be interesting. It'll be fun. It'll be different. I think that's great. But the one thing I do dislike about it is the fact that they've brought back the one restricted option from series eight and i just think it wasn't necessary it was, it, there was no necessity in doing that it just wasn't necessary like give us the format give us like series seven uh series nine without dynamax let's play that and then if you want to change it before we get diamond pearl platinum the remakes um or shining pearl and brilliant diamond or whichever way around they are and um, then change the rule set then to be this format and introduce one restricted you know that like in my opinion that would have been the best way to go about it but that i don't make the decisions unfortunately um but i i just think yeah there should have been some further restrictions added i think there shouldn't have been uh, the restricted Pokemon to start with. I don't see the need to add them in to the format. I really don't. Um, and the other thing is, I think there's a lot of issues with certain Pokemon that haven't been nerfed as well. Now we'll get into them in just a second. There's obviously a few Pokemon that are going to be like top tier in this format. Let's just shift this along so we can actually see the Pokemon. One is going to be Zashian. Zashian was incredible in Series 8 and that was in a, a format full of Dynamax, Gigantamax Pokemon and it thrived. It did amazingly well. It was the top of the usage stats for most of the series seasons that we had in there and it doesn't have the ability to Dynamax or Gigantamax itself. So now it's kind of even in the playing field on that regard but at the same time it's just going to get better because it doesn't have to contend with dynamax and gigantamax pokemon anymore everything is on a level playing field making zash in even better um obviously with the intrepid sword ability that it does have access to boosting its attack anytime it enters the battlefield makes it very dangerous and uh it, it increases the need for intimidate support will-o-wisp support it's a very centralizing pokemon uh, and one of the reasons why I don't think the restricted format should have really come back in this style. I think a full GS Cup would have been different, but as the one restricted, it's just my opinion, of course. A lot of you might disagree with me, but a lot of you might agree with me. The next Pokemon is obviously Urshifu. Now, the issue with Urshifu is obviously it's got the Unseen Fist ability. Both the Fighting Dark and the Fighting Water uh, have the ability to ignore Protect. And that isn't so bad in a format where you've got Gigantamax and Dynamax Pokemon where you can max guard and that, that ability doesn't really come into effect because it can't that ability can't hit through the max guard. It can only hit through regular Protect and similar, similar moves, Detect, uh, King Shield, so on and so on. Um, so yeah, this Pokemon in a non-Dynamax uh format is absolutely bust and it means that you're gonna have to really have a lot of ways to deal with it well because now you, you're not only thinking of the protect issue that you're gonna have you're gonna have no airstream anymore you're not gonna have that inflated uh hp stat that allows you to take attacks better from the dynamax or the gigantamax to deal with something like urshifu that has these ridiculous attacks that have that guaranteed critical hit <laughs> chance. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. I'm not going to stick on this subject for too long because I just, I don't think I necessarily need to. I just need to highlight that it's going to be a bit of an issue. And it's just one of my areas where I think the rule set could have been adapted a little bit better to kind of create a bit more balance going forward. Um, and obviously Pokemon that maybe struggled 
in the format previously because of weaknesses to uh, let's say the the influx of max airstream because of the importance of max airstream is one of the the best max moves that we had access to for speed control it was so important to teams now uh that's kind of gone so pokemon that really suffered because of that grass types um fighting types for one uh Urshifu in that list maybe um, uh, you know they're all going to be benefiting from this the lack of it things like landorus are really going to suffer uh because now pokemon like rillaboom are going to be like even more top tier because uh landorus normally a really good check in the format it brings that ground type in with earthquake it's its only really physical option to use a ground type move um and when it's max they can use max airstream you can use max quake now you're not going to be able to to utilize landorus in that way because of grassy terrain that can come onto the field from rillaboom rillaboom still got access to all of its tools it wasn't really a pokemon that we saw max too often it was utilized as kind of a support pokemon fake out grassy glide hitting really hard uh wood hammer etc etc uh it doesn't need to worry about having really having a cobra berry anymore because that gra that flying threat has kind of been negated to a certain extent um so rillaboom going to be very good gothitel is a pokemon that has been banded around quite a bit early doors especially when you pair it with something like Zashian and then you have something like Urshifu Rillaboom in the back as your kind of cleanup crew. So that's definitely something that I can see uh, having a lot of usage. Now, things like Thunderous, Prankster Thunderous is going to be very good again because you're going to have big threats like um, Kyogre, um, Regieleki, uh, that uh, they obviously can't max anymore, but they can still hit pretty hard. But things like Eerie Impulse are going to be really, really good support, especially for things like Groudon now that can kind of get that sun up, overwrite the weather. Um, I'm going on a bit of a tangent. I'm just trying to throw some ideas out here, what I've been thinking. But I think this particular core, Rillaboom, Groudon, Thunderous, Prankster with the Eerie Impulse, uh, Thunder Wave can be very, very, very strong in the format. And uh, I think it's a start of a good call. Um, obviously, you're going to need speed control, but you've kind of got a way of that with the Thunder Wave on um on thunderous anyway the other thing to think about are some other pokemon are going to be um obviously one of the other most broken restrictors that we've now got access to is calyrex shadow rider um because of its astral barrage it gets its psychic typing it gets expanding force it's absolutely busted it gets draining kiss for some reason so you can hit urshifus and then you can pair it with something like indeedy female for that redirection support or tapu lele for ridiculous uh damage output with a choice scarf or something like that and you can just go like dazzle astral barrage is a combination there or expanded force expanded force uh so yeah i think that's going to be a, a really strong combination in the format i think other things to look at from previous formats that we've had access to kyoga going to be good with something like maybe tornadoes um again that's going to be a, a pretty strong pairing uh with the the pranks of tailwind um obviously hurricane to take advantage of the, of the rain um and then kyogre with its ridiculous um moving water spout which can just take advantage of the rain um and just start cutting through teams pretty pretty easily so that'll be a combination that we see i think regieleki still going to be very good but i think we'll revert back to more of the the focus sash depending on how popular Kyogre gets. But again, Regieleki, very good in this format. Obviously, he doesn't have access to the Dynamax ability, but that Electro Web is really, really, really strong, uh, especially when you're putting it next to something like Urshifu, which is already quite a popular combination. Um, these two still work very well in this format where you've got the Electro Web and then you've got the, the Urshifu to just absolutely decimate whatever's in front of it, you know, uh, as a combination. So there are a few things to, um, to think about, at least, obviously, because we're a little bit away from series 10 kind of coming into effect now we're only on the first of july we've got a whole month left of series nine to go i'm not going to go into too much detail in this particular video because i feel like it's a it's a subject we can really take a deep dive into and it's something that i'll probably do at a later stage nearer the time of series 10 and obviously we'll have all that preparation for series 10 i'll make sure to try and get a bunch of rental teams ready for when the series starts so you can try and hit the ground running with it um but the biggest thing I think that I would like to leave a note on for this video 
I have been a little bit negative about about the new rule set, and I don't mean to be. I think there's massive positives to it. I think there's huge positives. I think the Dynamax being banned as a mechanic, I think that's such a big thing. I think it's a great thing. But at the same time, I do think it's like one step forward, two steps back. <sighs> and you know, I don't want to leave this on a negative, but I do think it's gonna, we might get into the format. And we might get two, three, four weeks into it. And I think the realization of this is very centralized, there's going to be a very select number of Pokemon that are going to be utilized and it'll get stale very quickly. Could be a possibility. Who knows? I could be completely wrong. Um, I'd love to hold my hands up and I will hold my hands up and come back to this in like two months time and say, wow, I was so wrong about this. But I'm kind of being a little bit cautious about it right now. I'm just feeling like the restricted element of this with the Urshifu issue, Maybe a little bit too much, but there's always an answer to everything, you know? So we've got to stay positive about it. It is going to be the rule set. It isn't going to be changed now. We've got to just be positive, move forward and look at it and see how we can adapt to it, how we can build in it, what will be successful in it and how much fun we can have playing it. Because that's the main thing. If you don't have fun in it, there's no point of playing it. That is the bottom line of it. And uh, I definitely will have fun in this format for sure. I'm excited to get into the format. It is different. Uh, so looking forward to doing lots of content on the channel. But the big thing, like I say, I want to leave this video is for you guys to let me know your opinions on series 10 and uh, what your thoughts are on obviously the restricted side of the format um, and having one of those per team and obviously having the Dynamax mechanic completely removed. How do you feel about that? And uh, do leave your comments down below and I'll make sure to try and get back to each and every one of you. But we'll wrap it up there, friends. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. It is a little bit late going up today, uh, but I have been at work all day. So I've just got back from my long cycle in the hot weather which was glorious because it's it's summer so it's really nice um and i just wanted to throw this up as soon as i could so i hope you've enjoyed it hope it's been informative start the conversation down below and i will see you all for another video very soon so until then take care of yourselves friends and bye bye